Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we are gonna be diving in for the very last time into Halo 3 ODST. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today, for the very last time, we are going to be playing ODST as we bring this series to a close. Uh, honestly, I'm realizing I really could have uh, finished this series on our previous episode, but you know, I didn't want to take a chance that it was going to be some big, long episode just called the epilogue or something you never know you know so i thought okay we'll we'll save the final level for the series finale we'll we'll, we'll make it a separate episode and you guys definitely let me know i've got like a five minute cutscene up ahead for this chapter and that's it so uh, that's what we're gonna do now i know that that's gonna make this a very short video uh so what i've decided to do is actually include some extra content in this um you guys have encouraged me to actually check out the trailer for this game because uh, I guess it was a really well done trailer for ODST. Um, and we are also going to watch a video that you, uh, so some of you guys have sent me a video on YouTube that um, is a collection of all of the audio logs. Uh, that tells another story. You know, I think we came across one or two of them in our playthrough, but I didn't really focus on them very much. And so we're gonna watch a video and we're gonna react to the whole audio logs story that we see unfold in this game as well. So we're gonna play the game first. Uh, we're going to then do the audio logs and the trailer reactions. Uh, and then uh, we are going to do the final review on ODST, so make sure to stick around for that. Uh, and then also I'm going to be watching the trailer for Halo Reach because that is going to be our next game that we play in the Halo series. So stay tuned, we've got a lot coming up on this episode, even though we have just like a five minute ending. Uh, we have some cool things to check out, which I'm really excited. Uh, before we get into that, I just wanna say, if you have been enjoying this series, and do me a favor and click like on this video and let me know. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content, for more Halo content, for Nintendo content, for PlayStation content, we do it all here. Uh, so make sure to check it out as well. Uh, you can hang out with us over at Discord. The link for that is down below. And of course, you can always hop on over and support the channel at Patreon by going to this link right here for $5 a month. You get early release content. All of these videos that you see here on YouTube go to Patreon first so you can stay ahead of the curve and see them as they are being made. Uh, for $10 a month, you can get that plus exclusive content because we have games that we're playing on Patreon that are just for Patreon eyes only. But no matter what you sign up for, you will be able to take part in our Wednesday night exclusive Patreon live streams, which are so much fun to get together midweek and just kind of talk as a community and hang out and see how everybody's been doing uh, throughout the week as well. A special shout out going out to our current list of patrons. I am so thankful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for all of just your support, um, not only financially, but just morally. You know, the way we get together on Wednesday nights and everything like that as well. Hey, we do have a new shout out to do. A new patron has joined and we just wanna say a special welcome to Chuck. Chuck, thank you so much for signing up on Patreon. If you are out there and you would like to join Chuck or any of these other amazing names on this list, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon today. All right, guys, without further ado, it is time to close this chapter of our Halo journey. Let's go ahead for the last time and dive into Halo ODST. Okay, guys, we are ready to close this out. Here we go. We're going to resume. Epilogue. Here we are. There's Virgil, the engineer. Easy does it. There's no one to hell for that. Give him some meds, would you? It's important. It knows things. It knows. Things. Heck, honey. I wasn't talking about the alien. Mickey, I'm sending you a very special co pilot. Oh, come on! I don't want one of those things in here. It won't bite. <laughs> and unlike you, 
It knows what to tell those cruisers to keep them off our tail. I think they're too busy to care. Hmm. What are they doing? Looks like they found what they're looking for. Oh. What about you? What about us? Aww. Win this war? Then ask me that again. We got romance. I like romance. I mean, this took place during, what, the latter half of Halo 2, so... Alright. There we go. Really? That was it? That was it. And of course, it's Master Chief Collection. We probably won't get... Oh, wait. No, there is more. Okay. One month after the drop. I thought there was going to... You know, because it was MCC, we wouldn't get any Lord Hood may have credits. given you clearance, but it was my op and it's my interrogation. We only captured one. It's very delicate. Don't worry. <gasps> Sergeant Johnson. I know what the aliens like. Sergeant Johnson. Oh, I love it. Sergeant Johnson. It has access to the Covenant battle net? Limited, but yes. We're not entirely sure how it manages a remote connection to the... What? Whoa, stand down! Stand down! Sergeant Major, please. It's extremely flammable. The brutes. The bastards who put bombs on your buddies and killed millions of my people. They're digging a mighty big hole. You're gonna tell me exactly what they're looking for, and then you're gonna help me stop them. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! <laughs> Aww. I love it. Sergeant Johnson was one of my favorite characters in Halo. And there it is. There it is, guys. Um... Man, I still feel robbed, so robbed of that uh, ending experience without the credits. But um, that was really cool. That was really cool. And so uh, let's move on to the next thing, I guess. I, I really enjoyed that ending. It was neat to see the worlds kind of come together. Um, you know, because up to this point, we've been the ODST, uh, the, that team with Nathan Fillion, um, Gunny, Buck, and Dare, Veronica, I'm trying to remember all the names, um, but we were them and we got to see their story, which was so cool, but I did like how in the end this kind of, to me, like bringing Sergeant Johnson into the end kind of made it Halo again, you know, like what we knew from the first game, because I really liked ODST as a standalone game, but it was kind of cool to, like once you see Sergeant Johnson, you, you get reminded like, oh yeah, this is still a part of Master Chief's story. This is still a part of the battle that was going on with the Covenant um, that we did in the first three games, you know, with the Flood and, you know, Halo itself. Because um, even though this was called Halo ODST, there obviously wasn't any mention of a Halo. So I think having Sergeant Johnson come back in, for me, it was kind of like, yep, 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 we're still in this universe. It just reminds me that, okay, this is still a part of the story. And really, this is, um, I kind of feel like Halo ODST, if I was going to play these games, not in the order of release, but if I ever played these games again, I would play Halo 1. Actually, it sounds like I should play Halo Reach. I think it would be fun to play them in chronological order, because you guys were telling me Halo Reach. And I guess Halo Wars, right? Because Halo Wars was a prequel. But then, you know, you do one, two, uh, one and two, and then I think I would play ODST and then play Halo 3. Because um, I feel like that ending right there just led us right into the events of Halo 3 when Master Chief arrives on Earth. Um, so that was really awesome. I really enjoyed that. Now, I will stick around. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this game uh, at the end of the video. But the next thing we are going to do is we are going to... Uh, let's, let's watch the trailer for this game, and then let's watch the um 
who's he, who's he what's it those audio logs you guys were telling me about and we'll uh, we'll watch those and and, uh, and and then I'll give you guys the final final review and then we'll watch the Halo Reach trailer to lead us into our next series in, within Halo all right it's uh let's watch the trailer Okay, guys, I've brought up the first trailer. I'm watching it on the Xbox, and um, I saw that there was a live-action ODST trailer. I don't know if that's one of the ones you guys were talking about. It seemed like there was, like, one that was more gameplay that was an IGN trailer, and then there was this one that I think happened at some sort of games event in Canada, actually, um, by the sounds of it. So let's go ahead and uh, and check this out. This is the Halo 3 ODST live-action trailer. Rated M for Mature. This is neat. ODST. Oh, I didn't see that one. Sorry. This is intense. Oh my goodness. This reminds me. That's like, I bet you that's rookie. That's supposed to be rookie, isn't it? Now I'd watch this Halo Watch the other one. Okay, so this next one um, seems to it was from IGN from oh, like 13 years ago, I think, and it had um, uh, I think this is going to be more gameplay kind of trailer stuff. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ah, okay, here we go. Yep, there's Mombasa. It might just be giving us a little bit of uh, what we saw in the beginning of the game. Does look really familiar. I think this wasn't this how the game started. Game to come out. This was quite a teaser. You're probably wondering who's in all these pods. Hmm. 
I wonder if they ever got Nathan Fillion as a part of like the big game events to announce the game. You know how like they they did that with like Kevin Spacey and like Call of Duty for a while, and uh, tricky. Um, a lot of times when they get you know like uh, Keanu Reeves with Cyberpunk, you know he does all the PR stuff for it. You know it makes me wonder if when this game came out they might have used Nathan Fillion, you know, in any of the announcement stuff, like the E3 or anything. Oh yeah, there's those city signs that I, uh, I would really pay attention to. Recon. Oh, maybe that's not... Maybe that wasn't it, or was there a different name for it at one time? Okay, guys, I have loaded up a video on YouTube that apparently is a collection. It's like 51 minutes long, and it's a collection of all of these audio logs from ODST. And apparently this is called Sadie's Story. So I, I guess we're gonna be following these, this is a long, this is almost, almost an hour long, we're gonna be following these audio logs. Uh, Cause I only, I think I only found like one, who knows, maybe it was the first one or whatever. And honestly, I just totally forgot about it. I was so wrapped up in our story uh, that I wasn't really wrapped up in all these extra things. So let's go ahead and watch this. And uh, let's check out Sadie's story. And uh, maybe it's just something that doesn't have to do with any of the rest of the game. It's just something, another story within this universe that's going to get told uh, that you uncover through your gameplay. Um, but or who knows? Maybe maybe it will still somehow attach itself to uh, to the story that we've known as Halo so far. Uh, let's go ahead and watch. This is, uh, I can't remember wh what YouTube channel this is, but it just said Sadie's story, all the audio logs. Here we go. Hello, traveler. Mombasa Super welcomes intended. you. Anxious? Stressed? Please remain calm. Control circuits now open with pride. I think I remember this one. Hello, traveler. The Mombasa Transit Authority welcomes you to Kikowani Station. How may I serve? One ticket to old Mombasa, please. Here's my card. Oh, no. This. Scrap that. Traceable. Damn it. Oh, coins. she's... Need coins. On the run, maybe? Thank you. What is your final destination? Magongo. If I don't get caught, hell if I do. Thank you. Transport for one, two, Magongo. Let's go, let's go. Please collect your ticket. Wait! Hold the doors, please! All aboard. Train number four. Oh, that was City close. Center two, mm -hmm. Old Mombasa, now departing. Next stop, Makuba, Nairobi Road, Hope Station, and Magongo, end of the line. Almost there. Almost. Where are you? 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 found me. you? Where are 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 you? Emergency stop. Get out, Virgil. Please remain calm. What are you doing, crazy lady? Talking to the train? I wouldn't even be here if you hadn't kept turning all the traffic signals red. Detour. Proceed with caution. Whoa, wait. Train's talking back to you now? What the heck's going on? Sir, I'm really sorry about this. I was just trying to get out of the city. Virgil, I am going to enlist. Watch your speed. Children at play. I'm 19. And besides, the UNSC is taking everyone it can get. That's exactly hmm. what Dad would say. You know, train's got a point. A lot of soldiers are dying these days. He's not a train. He's a city. A bad, bad city. <laughs> that worked when I was a kid, Virgil. Open hmm. the doors now. Now departing. Hope station. Leaving. Hope station. Virgil, go to hell. <laughs> Scratch that. Hell just came here. Oh, man. Oh, 
booster. Virgil, can you hear me? I'm on my chatter, but I'm off the train in old Mombasa. And mm. no part. Violators will be ticketed and towed. I know. I can see it. A giant covenant ship just hanging above the city center. There's a kiosk on the platform. Makupa Station. Meet me there, okay? I excuse me. Sorry. Hey! Watch it, mister! Please state your destination. Virgil, give me eyes on Dad. Quick! I'm sorry. I don't recognize Dad. That's a city. City? Where are you? Train station. Old Mombasa. Dad, this is ship... Listen, sweetheart. I wanted to tell you at breakfast, but you left so early. You know my latest project. The seismic survey for the new construction downtown. Dad, well, there's Virgil a covenant found something ship. under the city. I've never seen anything like it. Dad, covenants are attacking the city. Do you hear what I'm saying? You've got to get out of there. Don't worry. I'm nine levels underground, and I built Virgil's data center to be very, very secure. Fine. Then I'll come to you. No. Absolutely not. Stay exactly where you are. I'll have Virgil... Sorry, Dad. <sighs> there's uh, something Fixed, Dad. I've wrong. Done that to my this is a video connection, Sadie. I can see you making no sounds. Right. Well, tough. <laughs> Virgil, get that train going in reverse. Sede Indesha, I will not allow you to put yourself in danger. What's that noise? Uh -oh. Incoming! I want plasma fire. Using their plasma guns. Control this crowd before they trample her into the sidewalk. Yes, sir. NMPD, everyone back off. I said back off. You hurt? No. I'll be all right. Friendly, get her inside. Take my hand. We've got to go. What the devil are you doing out in the old city? There was something wrong with the train. It blew up. <laughs> I know all about Virgil and his overprotective urges, Sidi. Bradley, drive! Yes, sir. We What's our destination? We're talking about the question. Uh, engineer, right? The one that work? we saved at the, the end? data center below the only building? No, I don't think so. There are too many Covenant in that district. I'd like to take you somewhere much more... private. I wonder if this happened like, right before the events of ODST. Bradley, the partition, if you please. Yes, sir. Where are we going? The police department has an emergency bunker outside the city limits. We'll be very safe. That's very kind of you, Commissioner, but I can't. I'm sorry. If you would please take me to the city center. Such a serious young woman. Just like your mother. New Mombasa's most passionate public defender. Too bad her last client really was a sick, murdering Bastard. Is that James Earl Jones? There's no way that's James Virgil, Earl Jones. Stop the car. As police commissioner, it's my job to uphold the law. And I'm afraid the city has very strict personal privacy statutes. My car is off the grid, Sadie. As far as Virgil is concerned, you just disappeared. <laughs> Assaulting a police officer. That's a serious offense. Don't come any closer. <laughs> Just like your mother. Let go of me. It's the end of the world. Virgil, please. Hmm. Nobody Somebody. cares what happens to one lost soul. <laughs> Officer, why are we stopping? Keep going. <clears throat> Get out. What? You heard me. Let go of my coat. What do you think you're doing? My job. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that hurts you, son of a bitch. Not as much as you're going to hurt when I... Commissioner, I'm taking the car. You want to get out of the city? You can walk like everyone else. You'll pay for this, Bradley! It's the end of the world. Nobody cares what it. happens to you. It's the end. 
end of the world as we know it. You okay back there? Thanks for putting him off of me. Kinsler had it coming. I've been his driver two weeks, seen enough to last a lifetime. Name's Mike. Mike Bramley. Sadie Indesha. Indesha. You know, for a cop, you make a pretty good guardian angel. Ex-cop. Yeah. Sorry about that. Ah, I was looking for a career change anyway. Hmm. How about soldier? Yeah, it does seem like a growth sector. Mike, I need to get back over the bridge to the only building downtown. Well, that's a problem. Because I need to keep away from Covenant Plasma Fire. Okay, just drop me off here. Don't be stupid. What are you going to do? Fight your way through a few million refugees just so the Covenant can kill you a little faster? And this is why you always bring cab fare on a first date. I'm trying to save your life. You're trying to save your own ass. And yours. I think I'm the only person in this car who needs to be thinking about my ass. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Thanks for saving me for like three minutes. You're welcome. <laughs> He's receiving me for like three minutes. Well, I sure showed him. <laughs> Great. I'm stranded on the wrong side of the bridge in the middle of an alien invasion, and I just pissed off the only person willing to help me out. Go me. My feeling exactly. I like saying she's Make up Clear on the street. We need to move. Dad? City. Thank God. Virgil couldn't find you anywhere. Yeah, you can thank Kinsler for that. Police Commissioner Kinsler? What do you mean? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Get your kebabs. Oh my Real. God. What? Barbecue. What is it, Sidney? The biggest man I've ever seen. Where are kebabs? The Old Town Market. A butcher is giving away his food. Too bad it won't keep the Covenant from glassing the city. They won't glass the city. Hang on, Dad. I'm in contact with an only officer. She thinks these Covenant are just a reconnaissance force. And I think they're looking for the same thing Virgil found in his seismic survey. Dad, I'll call you back. Move, you off! Get that table Is out of the road! Portal? I'm your about. sir friend. Stop honking. <laughs> and have a kebab. For the last time, move your fat ass! Up. Hey! Get off my car! My friend, I am an 800-pound man with a large cleaver who kills animals every day and chops them into pieces. <laughs> Do you really want us to be enemies? Or would you rather have a nice kebab? Nice kebab. I get the impression that these were all just edited together. As you can see those pauses. Did he hit him? For the last time, you blimp! Get out of the road! Uh -huh. You put your cleaver through the hood of my car! Uh, a thousand pounds. But it is, I know that. We'll smash your windshield, pull you out. And to make you into kebabs. What? No. You know, no, no. Hey, wait. Please, you into stop honking your horn. It frightens the children. Sorry, Dad. There was a sort of a thing here. What were you saying? City. New Mombasa is the only place on Earth the Covenant is attacking. What? Why? Virgil's survey. He detected some very unusual seismic activity all along the Great Reef. <laughs> Would you like a kebab, young lady? Mm, chicken, mutton, beef. One free for every refugee. I'm not a refugee. I'm going there. Across the bridge to where the aliens are landing? You will need a kebab. Take two kebabs. <laughs> Take two kebabs. Stay out of the city center. I don't want you coming anywhere near the security zone. Sorry, Dad. Gotta go. I'll call you back. Sadie. Come, my friends. Don't be shy. Free food for the journey. Hey. Asante. Asante Sana. Asante Sana. Now, young lady. You are headed into the war zone. You must eat. Curried lamb, roast chicken. They look delicious, really. But I'm not hungry. Um, my dear, the end of the world is nothing to face. Oh, on an empty stomach. It's like my Italian grandfather growing up. He wouldn't take no for an answer. You <coughs> had to eat when you came to his house. What you're doing, feeding all these hungry people, it's really a noble thing, but you can't stay here. The fighting is going to spread across the water, into the old city. Uh, 
then would you be a deer and run to the wine merchant? This lamb would be perfect with a 23 Ida Sera. I understand. You're too heavy to walk very far, but there are other options. <laughs> you could carry me, perhaps? <laughs> Virgil, you listening? <laughs> I need you to divert a city vehicle to my current location. A forklift, or maybe an olifant. A garbage truck. I think I am insulted. <laughs> if you stay here, you'll die. You need to get to the train station. Or the waterfront. It's much closer. Look at me. Nobody will give me a place on a boat or a bus or a train. I would take up five seats. I am not worth five people. You can't just give up. Mm. Throw away your life. What about your life? You seem determined to go to the one place you are most likely to die. I'm going to find my father. He needs me. Just like all your customers need you. Very well, young lady. I am convinced. I too will leave Mombasa. Good. As soon as you do. No! First, you make your father safe. Then you come back and rescue me, my brave warrior princess, riding her <laughs> fearless thought lift. <laughs> Dear, just don't give up. But if I run out of hope, <laughs> I, I will still have kebabs. <laughs> well, if I had known, I would have got some kebabs for this reaction. Ow! Sorry. I'll be back soon. Of course you will. I like Jonas. He's cool. Please, let me through. Caution. One way street. Stop it, Virgil. Warning. No U-turn allowed. I'll find Dad. Then I'll come back. I'm not crying. I'm not. Huh. That was something else. I like the characters in this. Man, it's just total chaos now. Looting. Finally, an ATM that still works. Virgil, get dead. Please place your right Sadie, where are you? Outside one of the casinos, down by the river. I can barely hear you, Dad. There are looters inside, smashing everything. Government troops are spread all over the city center. I can see them on the monitors in my lab. You've got to get as far away as you can. Forget it! I'm coming to get you. End of discussion. Invest wisely. Open a personal savings account today. Listen to Virgil City. This looting is just the beginning, Dad. Pretty soon we won't need the Covenant to tear us apart. We'll do that all by ourselves. Mm. Virgil, you've watched me all my life. Kept me safe. Now you've got to save the city. That's a boy. Scare them all the way to the river. I know they can afford the ferry. Dad, can Virgil track the Covenant as they move? Stream positional data to the UNSC? Yes. I might be able to reconfigure his traffic congestion cameras to isolate known Covenant vehicle profiles. Maybe the Argus sniffers can pick up their soldiers too. I've only seen vids of the different Covenant species, but I bet they all stink in their own special way. That's an excellent idea. Virgil, get right on it. Sidi, I, I know I've been busy and we don't always have time to talk. But sweetheart, you make me very, very proud. <laughs> well, I just figure if we know where the bastards are, we can at least run away better. That was a nice trick with the police sirens, girly, but I ain't so stupid. Step away from that cash machine, or I'm gonna blow your pretty head off! Okay. Someone named Chloe. She got a shotgun. Come on, she's home. We can take it. No way. Oh. You think I'm deaf? Last warning! Back away from my cash machine! I you too, girly. Sadie, get out of there! Look, I'm stepping back, okay? Why don't you just put down your gun? Time to break the piggy bank! Hey! You almost hit me! African Trust. Open up! Banking with pride. Open up! <laughs> Everyone, listen! That's a Covenant dropship! Hurry! 
Forty years I've been coming to this place. Forty years of losing my hard-earned cash. Well, today I hit the jackpot. You hear me, you damn machine? I want my money! Hmm. Virgil, you give her the money. And we've got to find some cover. Ha! Out of my way, you little slut! You know, so this makes me wonder, like, they, I was just sitting here watching all of this is going down, right, in this area of, was it West Africa or East Africa? I can't remember, but Mombasa, uh, old Mombasa, they said, and... Uh, while all of this is happening here, they said that the Covenant forces were really just targeting this area. Um, so what's going on with the rest of Earth right now? Like, you kind of makes you wonder, like, if if the United States is still there in the future, are people watching all of this go down just at home, just sitting in their homes, watching all of this happen on the news, uh, hearing about the events? Um you know, it makes me wonder, like, obviously there are, you know, at least based on the accents and the people that we see um, in in the military, there seems, I mean, a lot of American accents. I'm assuming that's an American military coming to assist, you know, like Sergeant Johnson and, and Miranda and things like that. Uh, but um, it just kind of makes me wonder you know, what's going on in the rest of the world? Are people still just going about their daily business in a way and just kind of watching what's going on and, you know, just from afar? I don't know. That's because all of this is, you know, this area. It's not like an in Independence Day where every major city of the world has an alien invasion. They're just attacking this area. So it makes me wonder, like, what would be going on? What's being, what stories are being told uh, in other parts of the world? Oh, my God. Just tore the ATM off the casino wall. Payday! Transaction complete. Please come again. Okay. Jackpot! Jackpot! Oh my god. She's crushed under the ATM? <laughs> please don't look behind this dumpster, you big dumb brutes. Please, please, please. Alien son of a bitch! Think I'd share any of this with you? Well, he shot her up. That's it. Keep walking. I need to see here. Cindy, are you alright? I was! <laughs> I'm sorry. Run! Run! <laughs> This could have been not just the audio logs, but this could have been an exciting short. Like, watch an actual show. My head. Mike. I thought airbags were supposed to stop you from getting hurt. Mike! You came back! Who's Mike? Sadie, what's going on? Hang on, Dad. Let me help you out of there. Uh, I'm okay. Seriously. That whole macho tough guy thing, it's really never worked for me. Give me your hand. Uh, be gentle. Take me around front. Let me see what I hit. Oh, brutes, huh? Well, that's never coming out of the grill. Hmm. City. Thank the gentleman. Great etiquette tip, Dad. Let me get back to you. <laughs> my father says I should thank you for saving my life. Yeah, couldn't save the car though. I think there's something stuck in there. Oh. That's a. Ew. Poor. Yeah, I can see that. Ew. Mike, seriously, thanks. Hey, I didn't want to be the guy who leaves the damsel in distress. Plus, all the lights turn red when you try to drive away. How did you. Virgil? Who's that? Your boyfriend? <laughs> Not quite. You know the superintendent? Sure. The AI that runs the city. Picks up the garbage, monitors the traffic. Helped me trace a license plate last week. Well, Virgil is part of the superintendent. A subroutine my dad wrote to look after me when I was a kid. Look after you? After my mom died. It was just dad and me. 
He did his best, but his job. When Dad couldn't be there, Virgil was. He helped me get to school on time, made sure I bought a healthy lunch, and didn't watch too much TV. All right, so I'm going to send people in a frenzy who think, who are so disappointed in me for not understanding this. So Virgil is the name of the superintendent, which is the AI that runs the city. But didn't they call that engineer in the, in the final level Virgil? Like, I, I remember in the subtitles, it said Virgil. Did it not? And so, is the engineer kind of oversee the AI? Oh, no, I'm going to get so much flack for this. All right. That sort of thing. Must have been annoying. Your tax dollars at work. <laughs> it still is. Mike, why are you helping me? I'm a cop. Service to all, right? Mm -hmm. Look, the city's under attack. A lot of people need help. Well, I can die a hero, or I can die a cow. But Got any choices that don't involve dying? Not if you want to go back over that bridge. You know, if the panicked mobs would just stay in nice, neat lines, we oh, watch it. Get across this bridge a lot faster. Do you hear that? What? The water? Don't tell me you're afraid of heights. Pelican dropship. Hard to see through all the smoke, but it's heading our way. Virgil, got eyes in the sky. <coughs> Not good. Pain tapping. Seeing eye dog. Means Virgil can't see it. And who do we know who likes to travel off the grid? There's a police drop. We can't go down there. Where's you? I'm getting on break. Ah, oh, crap. Hello, city. Remember me, oh, dear. I'd hate to shoot you accidentally. <laughs> Friendly, <laughs> threat, threat. your service pistol. Remove it from your holster. Slowly. Yeah, yeah. Now toss it off the bridge. <laughs> Good. I must say, Sadie, you play very hard to get. Bet that makes you angry. Oh, quite the opposite. Virgil, a little help here. Your chatter made you easy to track. But I think you and Virgil have talked quite enough. Hmm. Take it off. Now smash it! Do you know what I've learned in all my years in politics? That you're an asshole? The value of escalation. For example, last time we met, Bradley hit me with his fist. Keep talking. I might do it again. I think not. This time, I have a submachine gun. You see? Escalation. Okay. Goodbye, Bradley. Do it, and you're a dead man. Sadie. You're such a bright, beautiful girl. You have no idea how much it pains me when you act so incredibly stupid. I have the gun. Yes, but I have the garbage truck. Whoa! I dropped you! That shitty property, Virgil! What the devil do you think you're doing? Escalation. <laughs> Escalation. Whoever wrote this had fun writing this audio book, this, uh, this story. Oh, man, what the smell! Come on, this is our ride! Oh, no. No, 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 I am not getting in the back of a... Uh, olifant. Think of it as an armored personnel carrier. For the smell impaired. 
That's awesome. Stay strong, Mombasa. Our noble militia is hitting back hard. The enemy has begun to retreat. Oh, I think I'm going to puke. <coughs> Might make it smell better. Why do we have to ride back here again? It's the safest way to get to the only building. If we sit in the cab, we're targets. If we let Virgil drive us to the only building, the Covenant thinks we're just a harmless machine. Recycling. Do your part. <laughs> oh, oh. Company, get behind me. <sighs> Finally, something between me and all the shooting. Guess we all had the same bright idea, huh? Name's Tom Uberti. Damn glad to meet you. Tom Married, right? Uberti. You do own a house? Of course you do. Say, when this is all over, if you're in the market for new ceramic <laughs> siding, hey now, I'm your man. Tom, shut up. Virgil, can you raise Dad on this Oliphant's radio? Wow, buddy. Is she a tough customer or what? You have no idea. Sweetie. You had me worried half to death. I'm okay. What about you? The fighting is spreading, damaging all sorts of systems. Power, data, the entire superintendent infrastructure is close to collapse. I'm doing all I can, but... Dad, you've done an incredible job keeping Virgil together. City, it's not me. It's the Covenant. Hmm. It's hard to hear inside this olifant. Say that again? A plasma bombardment collapsed one of Virgil's tertiary data centers. I was assessing the damage through the underground cameras, and I saw Covenant splicing cables, patching switches. What? The Covenant are helping us? Well, I'll be damned. Dad, <laughs> I just met my first brutes. They didn't seem too helpful. No. The ones in the data center weren't brutes or any of the Covenant I've heard about. It's a whole new species, Sadie. And they're actually quite beautiful. They have some sort of automatic defense system, but as long as you don't get too close... You know, and I'm just thinking out loud here. Maybe this whole invasion is just one big misunderstanding, huh? Shut up, Tom! Virgil's observing another group of them now inside Kikowani subway station. Hang on a second. I'll connect the audio feed. Number one rule of sales. Understand exactly what the customer needs. Not what he wants, what he needs. You understand? Tom! Serious. Seriously, Sydney. It. It's dark in the station. Switching the camera to thermal. Strange. There aren't any brutes around. Usually they never leave them alone. All right. I see six of the new aliens floating in a circle. They're surrounding a seventh, touching it with their tentacles. Amazing. Mm. You wouldn't believe how fast they can move their limbs. They're working. Doing something to the explosives in the seventh alien's armor. Wow. Dad, what were those explosions? Virgil, can't this Olivant go any faster? I'm not sure what just happened. Six of the aliens are dead. But I think. City. I think they gave their lives to free their companion. Yes, yes. I can see it floating away down the subway tube. Virgil, keep That's an eye on that one. Uh, Covenant with feelings, huh? It seems less harm. What was I saying? Oh, They're friendly, don't you see? We gotta negotiate. Negotiate? We shoot at them, they shoot back at us. That's just bad business. Hey, hey aliens, we're in here. We want to surrender. Settle down, you idiot. Tom, don't you get it? The friendly Covenant aren't the ones doing all the shooting. To hell with demographics. This is a down market. Time to bargain if you want to make the sale. <laughs> you! Yeah, you the tank over expanded. here! Who's that catch? Get down from there! Leave him, son. I'm up and in the back right? We're up here. That's right, up here! What say you and me make a deal, huh? Don't rock! Don't rock! Sidey, it's a right! Move! Where to? Anyway, come on! Clear the street. I'm coming traffic. Oh, you don't run Surrender accepted. Man, I missed like, so many of these recordings. That right blew the hell out of our Oliphant. Poor Tom! Poor Tom! He almost got us killed! Hmm. Now what? Stay out of sight. Find a kiosk. 
My dad in the data center under the Oni building. Basically right at the heart of the Covenant occupation. We're going to need Virgil's help getting him out of there. Here, take my jacket. I don't mind the rain. It's fiber armored. I mind you getting shot. Thanks. Optican, healthcare on demand. Please place your hand on the touchpad and get to the layout language. Virgil, get me dead. Elevated heart rate. Are you feeling anxious? Stressed? Oh, why? why? Newest mood settling drug. Stick hands on. Stop playing, doctor! Finally, a kiosk with a camera. Now I can see that you are all right. But why are you dressed like a police officer? It's Mike's. Say hello. <clears throat> it's good to meet you, Dr. Indaisha. You know, you are the first young man Ceres ever introduced to me. Dad! <laughs> What's Virgil doing? Learning to whistle. Whistle? So he can communicate with the tentacle aliens. Stress harms relationships. Good communication and good medicine. We just met a guy that tried the whole communicate with the enemy thing. It didn't work out so well, Dad. These new aliens are different. Inquisitive, not violent. Hmm. They're searching for something under New Mombasa, I'm sure of it. And if Virgil can learn to speak with them, we'll be able to determine whether or not they can... Dad? Attention, citizens. The enemy has infiltrated our data system. Do not... Our civilian chatter is restricted. No! Oh, oh, calm down. They killed him! Who? The police! They just pulled Virgil's plug! No way. Oh. The whole city would shut down. The evacuation would grind to a halt. No one would be crazy enough to... No one? Oh, crap. Wow. Police headquarters, straight ahead! How does a level one blackout work? How do we bring Virgil back? Emergency communications department. But we can't just... Kick down the door, plug Virgil back in? You bet your ass we can! Sidey, wait! Here's a directory. Emergency comms, 14th floor, elevators are... Hold up! Look! Lobby's all shot up. And over by the elevators. Uh, are those cops? All dead. Probably a brute kill squad. Howdy, folks. Or not. Sorry about the mess. Since it appears we're all going straight to hell today, I figured I'd send some of my old pals on their way myself. Listen, buddy. We don't want any trouble. We just need to get upstairs. Stay right where you are. Here comes another one now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why they shut the super down. We'll keep broadcasting as long as we... Hey there, Jimbo. What the... Officers down, there may be Covenant in the... Come on now, get off your chatter and pay attention. Marshal, what are you doing here? Didn't you get fired? Remember how often I ask you not to use my half and half? And remember how often you... For some reason, this Marshal, like I'm hearing different voices that... Re I mean, obviously they didn't get these kinds of actors, but I'm hearing voices that remind me of, of, of certain actors. For some reason, he reminds me of Jack Nicholson. Um, if you listen to it, there's certain nuances in his voice that remind me of like Jack Nicholson from like The Shining or something. Um, that's very funny. Didn't listen? You? You did this? You have stayed in the elevator, Jim. No, please! I wrote my name right there on the cart! Oh. Sadie, let's go. Do you hear According it? It sounds like Jack Nicholson. I have issues with anger management. If I were you, I'd stay right where you are. Wasn't that a Jack Nicholson movie, Anger Management? With, um... Adam Sandler. You two are my hostages. Sit tight, or you're gonna end up like these old buddies of mine. Mike, we have to get upstairs. Turn Virgil back on. No talking. You work for the NMPD? Uh... No. Oh, yeah? Where'd you get the jacket? I stole it. From the trash. A thief, huh? Got a record, you little punk? Look, why don't you put down your rifle and... Why don't you shut your goddamn mouth? Hear that? Swat pussies finally woke up. They'll be wearing body armor, so you have to take the headshot. Get down, Sadie! Now! Drop your weapon! Come and get it! Ha! Damn it! Take him down! Cover me! Man wow. down! Man down! We're locked in! He's got his pin in here! Get back! Get back! Stay behind the door! Bang it clear! <laughs> ah! Oh, my eyes! Oh, you lousy! Shut up, bitch! Ah! Got him! Ah! 
Suspect down. Sadie? Sadie, you okay? You! Hands where I can see them! Don't shoot! I'm in MPD, damn it! Let me see a badge. Nice and slow. The whole city's crawling with covenants and we're killing each other. Here, see? Metro PD! I need to get her to the 14th floor. It's an emergency. Okay, take her up. We'll deal with this mess. There must be a dozen bodies here. We can't save them, Sadie. But we can save Virgil. We have to go. Wow. Emergency comms. 14th floor. Should have taken the elevator. After what just happened? I don't think so. So? What exactly are you going to say to make them reinitialize Virgil? I'll think of something. Hi. I'm cute. Break the law for me. That's not funny. I'm just saying. It worked on me. Still no covenant activity outside the city limits. I need a big yeah, I've got three more evac points at 200% capacity. Somebody answer that damn phone. Where's the duty officer? Big desk. At the back. Thanks. Any of the ferries still running? So you'll just have to go down there yourself. As I've been trying to tell you, Captain, I don't have the authority to override them. What do you mean, gross misconduct? Captain Dare, I assure you, people are dying down here. Excuse me? Yes, of course I could turn the superintendent back on, but Commissioner Kinsler gave me explicit instructions. You're busy, so I'm just going to borrow this stapler. Listen, Captain, there's a covenant carrier hovering right outside my window. There's a sniper in my lobby, and you're threatening to have me fired? <laughs> Office of Naval Intelligence. Now there's a contradiction in terms. Oh, what do you want? I need you to turn the... The superintendent back on. Not you, too. I am telling all of you, the commissioner... I know, but I'm making you do it. At gunpoint. What gun? This one. You're holding my stapler inside your pocket and pointing it at me. <laughs> you don't know that. It might be a gun. Or a rifle. Or a rocket launcher. And if it was... Why, you would have to turn the superintendent back on. Nobody could blame you. Or fire you, if it was a gun. Oh, no. Please, don't shoot. I'll do anything. It's an agent. I'm here. He sounds different. Virgil, what have those aliens done to you? Oh. Sadie, what's going on? I don't know. Those aliens have been working on Virgil, and now that he's back on, he sounds... Different. Virgil? It's still you, isn't it? <laughs> Can you get dead for me? Virgil can't reach him. Something's wrong. Reports are coming in from all over the city. Covenant forces are pulling back in the face of furious resistance. Man, have I had it with his crap. Our enemies are cowards. Battle on, brave citizens, and victory will be ours. Hang on. That's coming from inside the building. Mike, wait! Where are you going? This hour, we pay tribute to our fallen heroes. Jim Odingo, Roberto Bustamante, and Marshal Glick. This is his office. Public Service Announcements Division. These officers were gunned down in the very lobby of this building by Covenant snipers. <laughs> but moments ago, members of our citizen militia wiped out the sniper nest with a homemade flamethrower made from nothing more than an old leaf blower and a can of gasoline. How Keep many Keep fighting, Mombasa. Fight, and we will win. There's all those civilians Off dying because the they're trying to fight. Covenant brutes. sniper nest. Those people were massacred by a crazy ex-cop. Hell, one of those people was the crazy ex-cop. And your point is? People are dying out there, and you're feeding them this... this garbage... None of it is true! Yes. Well, some days, truth isn't really a luxury we can afford. Come on, Mike. He's a propaganda officer. He's just doing his job. His job? <laughs> More like lying to people for a living. Do you know who is still listening to my announcements? An old woman, too weak to leave her bed. A man, bleeding in the street. A teacher hiding with her students in a school basement. They're all going to die. Maybe, maybe not. 
The Marines will be here soon. They are all going to die. My job is to fill the time before they die with truth, with hope. But maybe you can do better. On the air. Oh. A special honor, new Mombasa. I have here in studio Uprising Commander Harris, two-shot Kibaki. <laughs> Commander, tell our listeners the latest news from the city center. Commander, go ahead. Speak the truth. Well, things aren't as good as they could be, but they're looking up. We're, we're fighting hard. Good to hear it. Any words of advice, two-shot? Just keep fighting. And we can win this battle if we stick together. We can save the city. We can win this war. Off the air. Now you are also a hero. You Point are proven, a hero. Huh? I feel sick. No. What you feel is hope. Ah, see? You already have an admirer. Go ahead. You're on the line with Harris Two-Shot Kibaki. That was truly inspiring, Officer Brantley. <laughs> city must be very impressed. Kinsler! But I think she'll be much more interested in this. Sadie, I now control the firefighting systems in your father's lab. If you want to see him alive again, you'll do exactly as I say. Hmm. Kinsler told me to meet him at the train station. That's what I'm going to do. Come on, Sadie. You can't trust him. You know that. My father is still in Virgil's data center. I've been listening to your dad all day. And the one thing he wouldn't want you to do, put yourself in even more danger by... You're not listening at all! Kinsler said he triggered the emergency fire response. And that will... Flood the data center with argon. Can people breathe argon? No, Mike. It freezes you. Dead. Look, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Virgil! Are you there? I know that look. What's your plan? Escalation. Hmm. You know, I would have enjoyed this if this had been a, an actual game to play. You could take on the role of Sadie. Not for me. There's not enough room. Well, she is not going to help. We gotta get out of here. I want to close anyone. We're getting close, so we have to go. Trans Bay Express train now departing Kikawani Station. All passengers must sign off with your iPod. Maybe Dad was right. The tentacle aliens he found, I think they are helping Virgil, bringing him back from the dead. The Why engineers. would they do that? Dad said they were looking for something, something Virgil found. Keep it clean. Leave all luggage on platforms. Maybe they're sick of fighting, just like us. I don't know. Dad would know the answer. We'll ask him when we see him, okay? Okay. Now, where are you supposed to meet the commissioner? Platform 9. He's got a private train. I still think you should let if me... If I don't come alone, my dad will die. Kinsler made that clear. You and Virgil know what you have to do? Yeah. The Covenant are closing in. People are panicking. This is going to get out. This day is a nightmare. It all keeps getting worse. Everything's falling apart. Not everything. Listen, I know I'm just a girl who got you fired. You're more than that. I might also be the girl who gets you killed. Maybe, but not today. Mike, I want you to live. I need you to live. For me. Well. Could there be romance between these two? Platform 9. There's Kinsler's private train, guarded by corrupt cops with machine guns. I'm going in. My father's life is on the line. Be careful. You too. What? Wait your turn! Excuse me! Sorry. Coming through! Get away from the train, you hear me? Everyone back off. Steady, officer. Not yet. I can't hold the crowd back much longer, sir. Kinsler! You won't have to. My passenger has arrived. This way, Sadie. Push right on through. Make some room. Let us through. It was cracks me up. Is this is in Mombasa? You know, this is what they say, East Africa. I keep forgetting it's East Africa, but 
And Sadie's the only one actually with an accent representative of that area. Like, we've got one guy who's like, hello, Cheerio, here we are, Mombasa, you know? And then there was another guy who just, like, stepped out of Boston or New York, you know? He's like, yeah, all aboard, you know, or whatever. Like, it just kind of cracks me up that there's not more, like, African accents, you know? Like, even speaking, yeah, you know, speaking English, but still sounding more like Sadie. Um, that makes me laugh. Get your hot dogs here! Any other objections? Why? Careful, Sadie. Watch your step. You ever worry there might Can be help? a help? Oh, I know there is, my dear. And you and I are leaving it. Officer, close the doors. Button up, men. We're out of here. I don't want any of that on board. Yes, sir. You can't just kill them. Why not? I'm getting quite good at it. For instance, I killed your father an hour ago. <gasps> what? You killed my father? My oh, man near Virgil's data center tripped the fire response system. He suffocated and froze. <gasps> Not a bad way to go, all things considered. I wanted to tell you face to face. You wanted to see her. <laughs> He must be lying. Please, get all your tears out now. It's a long ride, and I don't want to hear you moaning all the way to Nairobi. Well, come to think of it, I might. No sign of it yet, sir. It's a pink, airborne octopus. How hard can it be to find? The tunnels are crawling with buggers, Commissioner. We've lost a lot of men. Maybe we should... No one leaves until I get that alien. Do you hear me, officer? It found a way to hack a superintendent-class AI. Knowing how it did that is vital to the war effort. Like you ever cared about anyone besides yourself. Just because I'm a murderer doesn't mean I'm unpatriotic. Hmm. Covenant armor approaching the station, sir. What do we do? We wait! <sighs> Don't you see? One thing that this does really well uh, is give you that feet on the ground terror. Um, you know, one of the things that, again, I apologize for, for constantly interrupting the narrative here, but I just wanted to get this thought out. I, I was, as I'm hearing the, the screams and, and all of that, it, you know, we had three games where we could bring down, there really wasn't fear of these aliens, of an invasion like this, because we were Master Chief, you know, we wiped the floor with them. And, or, you know, or we were Arbiter, he wiped the floor with them. Uh, then we play, you know, ODST, and they can wipe the floor with them, right? It's Nathan Fillion. And even though they're not Spartans, they, they're still very capable Marines and soldiers. But I, I think what this game, or what this, I'm sorry, what these audio logs do really well is they kind of paint the picture of what something like this actually would look like as far as the terror just for everybody else. You know, when you've got these terrifying, I'm sure like the elite would look terrifying, the brutes, of course, terrifying, even the ungoy. And, you know, when you have all of these coming in, and attacking, I mean, the terror just for the, the average civilian trying to get away um, would be quite substantial. And so I kind of like how this story gives us that feeling because I think seeing the fear and the terror or hearing it of the regular civilians and, and the chaos and everything they're going through, because you don't really see that in the other games. You, you, you always get it from Master Chief's perspective or from ODST, that, that team. And so I think seeing the terror on the, you know, actually makes me, as a soldier in the game, when you hit the first person player part, um, it, it almost gives you more per, uh, um, purpose. It, it, it drives you. It makes you want to stop the bad guys for the sake of these civilians. So I think this is really neat and very interesting to hear it from this side because we, we're always getting just, there are no civilians ever uh, in, in anything that we've played. You know, it's always been these environments with the Covenant or the Flood 
but we've never experienced, you know, well, how does this actually affecting regular everyday people? Uh, really interesting take on this. I'm really enjoying it. See the beauty of it, city. Only got four minutes. Whatever you think of me, whatever I have done, I will leave this city with vital intelligence about the Covenant. Bastard. Call me what you like, but the world will call me a hero. Hmm. Listen to me. The Covenant are coming. Listen to me if you want to live. I've killed your father, CD, and now we're leaving the city. No one is coming to save you. Not Branley, not Virgil. It's the end of the line. What the hell is that? The damn machine is dead. I killed it. It doesn't matter. Anything he does to this car happens to you too. Are you ready to die? No. Do you want to live? Yes. Are you ready to fight? No. That's it, Mike. We need to go now, sir. Yes, uh, go. The rest of your men will have to die. Sir, we aren't moving. I've lost engine control. Listen to me, Virgil, or whatever you are. Move this train out of the station or Sadie dies. You hear me? The Covenant will kill us all. I'm not out of the system. The train's not responding. There is nothing you can do to hurt me that won't kill her. Almost nothing. Virgil, open the doors. What? No. I'm in your way, no. Get back! Get back! Get away from me! See what I'm saying? Terrible. Just everything going on. So violent, so chaotic. Get this train going! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Here we go! Sidi! Sidi! Are you alright? What about Kinsla? They tore him to pieces. I gotta go, Mike. Excuse me. Sorry! Let me through! Where are you going? Underground! What? Enough! Exit, please! Sidey, stop! We are getting on that train and getting the hell out of town! That creature helped Virgil! It helped you and me! It helped all of us! Sidey! Dad knew how important it was! That's what he died for! I'm willing to die too! Let me go, Mike! Emergency stop. I'm not worth your life, my brave warrior princess. If we don't find you, who will? Office of Naval Intelligence, your tax dollars at work. Fallen heroes, on the air. Virgil, I, I need you to live. For me. Get on the train, you two. Come in this way. I'll be later. We've got to go. Virgil, you're all I have left of this place. Sadie, 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 sweetheart. You make me very, very proud. You're all I have left of him. Sadie, take my hand. Okay. I'm ready. On the board, last train, now departing. Next stop, Makuba, Nairobi Road, Hope Station. And beyond. Hope and beyond. Well, okay, guys, that was really something else. Um, getting that story, like I said, I, I think it kind of adds more to it. Um, at least my take on it was seeing Sadie's story with Mike and her dad and he was a Kinsler and just all of those, but the chaos, just civilians running for their lives as they're being attacked by brutes, the Covenant. You know, I, I feel like that finally added uh, a little bit more weight uh, and severity to the situation um, because it was like, up, like I said, up to this point, like Master Chief just shows up somewhere and it's just, you know, there's no regular people there. Either it's always he's there with other Spartans or Marines 
or he's there, you know, just with enemies, you know, uh, aliens. Uh, but there's never been a time where he's just like, you know, hey, quick, run, go, I'll take care of it, you know, like helping civilians. They're never around. And so I think because of that, it gets easy to just kind of treat it like, okay, here's our aliens, this is our mission, this is what we gotta do. Um, but what this did was this also um, did a great job, I think, of kind of painting why do we fight? Why are we fighting these guys? Why is there a war going on? Um, you know, the Covenant have attacked and we're defending humanity and people. And um, it, it just, it was really interesting. I really enjoyed that aspect and also getting Sadie's story as well and kind of seeing a little bit more about the engineers. Um, you know, uh, the superintendent, all of that kind of filling it in. It, honestly, I think that would have been a really interesting story. There were some really funny comedy moments in it. Um, you know, I like Jonas and his kebabs. Uh, you know, I thought that was really funny. Um, but I really, yeah, I really enjoyed that. And I'm surprised that I only, I think I only ever uncovered that first audio log. I don't think I actually did any of the other ones. Um, but yeah, so that was really neat. Uh, now let's talk for a moment. Uh, we will watch the Halo Reach trailer. Uh, we're gonna end this video with the Halo Reach trailer uh, to get us ready for what's to come. Um, but besides that, I, uh, I l let's just talk about Halo 3 ODST. Um, what a game that was. You know, you guys told me that this was kind of the one that was like the odd duck of the whole series and not in the bad way. Um, you know, the music was different in this game. That's probably one of the biggest things that stood out to me. There were a couple things I really enjoyed about this game. Um, things that stuck out to me that made it different. Um, some of the graphics and the layout were a little different. The guns were pretty much about the same. There was a couple that were different. Um, you know, obviously we were fighting the Brutes. I didn't see any of the Elites. It was mostly Brutes and Ungoy. Um, but it was it was interesting, like, you know, as we fought them, we got, we weren't as capable as the Spartans, but we were still pretty capable. We played on easy mode. Um, and we got to see some big name actors and actually really cool storytelling because, you know, other than, you know, other than Sergeant Johnson and Miranda and Master Chief, in Cortana, there weren't really a lot of people that I was like really into. I mean, we had we lost Captain Keys in the first game, but like there, you know, I, I don't know. I found myself kind of uh, a little bit more attached to the characters actually of the ODST crew. You know, especially you know, you didn't get a ton of backstory, but you got enough to get your typical Nathan Fillion love story with the girl. You know. Uh, which was what, Trisha, was her, is her last name Heifer? She's the one who played Edie in Mass Effect, um, which who, I love that character too, and I knew that voice every time I heard it. I'm like, oh, what is it? I know that voice. Um, but you know, I thought those two were perfectly casted for that. Um, we just saw them holding hands there at the end. Uh, so I've got high hopes for them, and you guys have kind of leaked it in the comments that uh, this will not be the last time I see Nathan Fillion's character, a buck, in, in this series. So I'm looking forward to seeing him in another game. Uh, whatever that may be, maybe fighting alongside Master Chief, who knows. Um, anyway, uh, I, I really enjoyed this, some of the characters in this game, and I think I, I enjoyed it from the standpoint of, you know, the, the storytelling where you're rookie, then you're Dutch, then you're rookie, then you're Romeo, then you're rookie, then you're, you know, uh, Buck. You know, it's one of those things where you get to kind of be all of them, and then because of that, you kind of grow an attachment to each one as well so i thought that was pretty cool um a couple of things i really enjoyed was the indicator like if you needed help knowing where you were going you could just hit up or down and that would pop up that was one of those things that i complained about a little bit in the first series was how sometimes because of the repetitiveness of the levels because it really was an older game um sometimes you would just get turned around it's like i don't know if i passed this tree 85 times or is this a different tree you know like sometimes you just didn't know and so I really liked how they did that. It made it a little easier to navigate. That said, I think that's probably how I missed some stuff because uh, you know I got very laser focused on, okay, where do I go next? Follow the arrow, go there. And I didn't always stop and smell the roses. Not that there was a lot of floral stuff happening in Mombasa at the time, but it was kind of nice to know where I was going. Um, and so I really enjoyed that. Um, the gameplay was fun. Uh, I thought that was really neat. 
The biggest standout in this game for me was still the music. I it was so different. And and sometimes I, I wasn't sure if I was even comfortable with it. I'm like, I don't know if I want loungy jazz right now. But I think it was placed in the right spots. Um, when there was a lot of big fighting, you know, and when the you know when it really hit the fan, I mean, a lot of times the music would still uh, reflect that as well. But a lot of times we'd come out of a story like, oh, we were just Romeo or or you know Buck or whoever. We would go back to be rookie, and there was almost like this, uh, you know, L.A. noir loungy kind of old school private eye show music playing. And I thought that was kind of cool. It was so different. So that was really neat. Uh, graphically, I think it was fine. Um, you know, I, 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 it was nice, you know, realizing the, the age of the game. It, this wasn't a remaster. So realizing the age of the game when it came out, um, you know, I think it was great. Um, it, it had a different feel. The, uh, you know, they did well still putting the characters in that we love, like, you know, Nathan Fillion and stuff like that. I was like, yep, that's Nathan Fillion's face, you know, thing that was really cool. Um, so as a story, I actually really enjoyed the game. Uh, I did enjoy the gameplay too. Um, I thought that was really fun. And I think once I started kind of following your advice in the comments where, you know, it's like, instead of just sticking with one gun, use like the plasma rifle to bring down the shields and then use like a human gun with bullets to take out, you know, uh, the enemies with their shields are down. I've, and then using the needler on the, 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 uh, the big brutes. I thought that was really cool too. So actually I really enjoyed the gameplay in this and I enjoyed the game mechanics. Um, I enjoyed the story. And then I, you know, besides the storytelling aspect of it, I enjoyed, uh, you know, also how they ended the story with Sergeant Johnson coming in. I thought that was great. Uh, again, that made me start feel like, okay, yep, we're still tied into the original trilogy here, you know, because he's coming in now and we're seeing how this is all going to connect. Um, and and then you had, besides, you know, all of those things, you, you, you just had what we just saw, uh, the audio logs and just this other story. Uh, and how it just, you know, we got to follow the story of Sadie and Mike. And I thought that was really interesting. Um, graphically, it was great for what it was for the time. Gameplay, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed learning the different mechanics. And it's one of those kinds of games that I think if I wasn't playing episodically, uh, I would, if I played it again, I would take more time with the levels kind of walk around and see what else I can find. Maybe I would discover some of those audio logs along the way. The audio logs I loved, the music was awesome. It was different, but it was awesome. Um, you know what? I think ODST so far has been one of my favorites. Um, Halo 2 is still my favorite in the series so far. I, hmm. This is gonna be hard because there's gonna be some trilogy purists who are master chief people who, who I, I might offend, but honestly, I think ODST might be one of my favorites in the series so far. I, it, it might be a, it might, could it be a second place? I don't know. I think I like ODST better than I like the first Halo game still. Um, I think I like the second one best so far. And I, then I don't know if it would be Halo 3 or it would be ODST. It would be one of those two and then the other ones. And then Halo 1 so far is how I would rank them. That's just my own personal opinion. Um, I, I think I really liked ODST that much. So that said, um, you know, I always give games a number rating. And, uh, well, I think I'm going to give ODST a 10. Oh, didn't see that one coming, huh? No, I think, well, do I give it a 10? It didn't really give me a reason not to. That's the thing. Like, I really enjoyed the game. Um, I had a lot of fun playing this game. As a matter of fact, I stopped recording them every few days because I just didn't want to wait anymore to play the game. <laughs> I put a thing out in our community tab on the channel just apologizing to people like, look, if you were, you know, I apologize if, if uh, I, I, hopefully this doesn't rub anybody the wrong way and you don't feel like your con your comments don't matter. I just, as a gamer, wanted to keep playing ODST. I was having fun with it. I'll just go with my, my I'm just going to do a hip shot review 
to go with my initial you know, reaction, my knee-jerk reaction is I just want to give the game a 10. I'm going to do it. I really liked ODST. It was one of my favorites so far in the series. That's what I'm going to say. Halo 3 ODST gets the easy mode 10. That's what I'm going to do. I really like this game. I love the storytelling. I love the characters. Uh, and I hope to see some of these characters again because they lived. You know, so that's what I'm hoping uh, that I'll see or at least hear about them or hear from them uh, in later games in the series. Uh, so I'm really excited uh, to, to do that. Um, and I'm really excited for the next game that we're going to play. Uh, we're going to play Halo Reach. Uh, before we get into watching the Halo Reach trailer, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the series. Uh, I hope for those of you who maybe caught the channel just because you're fans of ODST, uh, if you get a chance, go back and watch some of the other Halo games we've, gone, we've done on the channel. Uh, it's been a really incredible journey uh, going through these Halo games. We're playing them in the order of their release, and it's been so much fun. And uh, I really I can't believe I've waited this long to enjoy the, the, these campaign stories of Halo. I think it's just so much fun to do this. But uh, So yeah, let me know in the comments what your thoughts were on ODST. What would you give it? Was it a 10 for you? A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys have said that ODST is actually your favorite Halo game. So I'd be curious what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, now we're gonna do one more quick reaction uh, as we get ready for Halo Reach. Let's go ahead and watch. Uh, I saw that there's a couple Halo Reach trailers. It looks like there's a live action trailer, just like there was for ODST. So we're gonna watch uh, whatever one I have. It's a teaser trailer that came out, maybe at E3 or something like that. And then, uh, and then I'd like to see the live action trailer as well. So let's go ahead and watch. Okay, this is the teaser trailer for Halo Reach. Warning, if you have children watching. From the beginning. You know the end. Gamma Station, this is Fermi at RSO. Unconfirmed report of an in-system split space rupture. Impossible. Check your source. This is how it all begins, right? Reading multiple pings below the orbital defense grid. Oh, this can't be happening. There's no mistake. It's them. Winter contingency has been declared. All units are mobilized and ready. This is Sierra 360. for combat insertion. What the hell was that? Coming in hot. Hold on. We just lost our bird. Oh my God. What the hell is happening down there? Down here. Okay, just Look dropped off my map. We'll hold this position as long as we can. I need you in that fight, Noble One. Noble One, come in. Noble One, do you read me? This is Sierra 259. You got Spartans on the ground, sir. We're not going anywhere. Wow. Okay, here we go. How it all begins. Okay, and finally, this next one is a live action trailer. I think it's called The Day Before, and it is available on IGN, or it was IGN that put it out. So um, here we go. I guess we're going to see what it was like, uh, maybe because maybe at this point, I'm wondering, like, everybody says it's the prequel, is this is this the first time the Covenant attack us? Do we not even know that they exist? This is gonna be very interesting. All right, here we go. The day before, July twenty third, twenty five fifty two. They still dress pretty close to the same. The timing is insane. Why? Half our friends have already gone. We can't live in this Kiva anymore. Manassas is the only choice. I leave my family. We've been here for three generations. You think I can just stop and go? Why not? Me too. Reach 
Charlie, come in. Three Charlie, copy. Longhorn. Event. Prep your team for immediate mobilization to Visegrad. We've lost contact with the comm relay hub. Roger. We're on our way. Three Charlie, out. There's nothing in Visegrad anymore. It's dying. Right along this farm. I'm so sick of this argument. Mm. If we go, how are you going to support us? I'll find a job. All right, two if I have to. And things will get better. You don't know that. Maybe not. But it's better than staying here and having no future at all. It's only three days, Kate. I'll be back in no time. I'll talk to you every night before you go to bed, OK? Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and watch this one last one. Um, I guess this is called Deliver Hope, um, and this is also for Halo Reach. I hope I'm not watching anything with spoilers. Um, I, I saw this pop up as a trailer. So um, it said Halo Reach trailer, del Deliver Hope. So uh, I'm just hoping I'm not delivering any spoilers for myself, but I'm excited for this. Um, this is straight from Xbox. So this is not, uh, there was a lot of stuff I saw on YouTube that I couldn't tell if it was fan made or not because I know the fandom is so big. Some of the stuff that looks like it could be legit is just stuff that uh, it's fan made. So I, I really am only going from sources like IGN or you know Xbox or things like that. Okay, let's watch this one. This is an extended cut of Deliver Hope or Halo Reach Deliver Hope. Well, there you go. I guess it is a trailer. Okay, we got a Marine. I don't think that's a Spartan because I think the face, the helmet is different, right? It might be though. Does he have bombs on There's the Elite. Oh, and they're, they're swords. I didn't really see any of those guys in ODST. Oh, those banshees. So hard to fly. It'd be so much better if they just up like a helicopter. Wow. They fly in a lot better than they do. for this game a lot of you guys have said this is your favorite 
Well, okay guys, I gotta say, I am really excited to play Halo Reach. Um, I, I love the prequel aspect. I, I love seeing how it's gonna all unfold. Um, so I'm excited. I, 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 it's a little haunting to see, to know how it's gonna end, to see how it all begins. Um, you know, and again, one of the points I was making earlier was seeing the terror from the civilians, you know, um, and, and being attacked by an alien race. And it kind of makes me wonder, you know, how much of that we're going to see now in Reach. And I forgot that this was Halo Reach is about a planet called Reach. So I need to go back and do some some studying on the lore because I I know Earth still exists because that was a, that that's what happened at, with Mombasa. They went to you know Africa, but so was Reach like our first other planet? You know, like it took 500 years we were able to inhabit another planet. So there's Earth and then Reach. And then Reach was attacked, and that's how this all started. Uh, I don't know, but I'm excited to find out, and I'm excited to dive into Reach next with you guys. Uh, I hope you're excited for that series to start as well. If you are, do me a favor and click like on this video and let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see those Reach videos as they come out. If you're enjoying this Halo series and you haven't subscribed yet, and you'd like to get uh, notifications on when those videos are gonna come out, then make sure to check that out. Uh, you can also hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And again, if you want to see those videos before they actually hit YouTube, uh, then make sure to check out the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here. You can sign up over there for early release content and exclusive content. All right, guys, uh, that's going to conclude this series. That is the end of our ODST series, and uh, we're going to continue moving on in the Halo journey as our next game is is going to be Halo Reach, which I'm really excited about. You guys have been pumping me up, getting me all hyped for this game. So I'm really excited to see this prequel story unfold. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for your comments and your support uh, and, and uh, just everything that you guys have done. Uh, thank you to the whole Halo community who has come and joined Let's Play Easy Mode and, uh, and they've been helping me through this series so far. Uh, looking forward to playing Reach with you guys, but until then, take it easy.